think, uh, I think I saw Top Gun one too many times. <laughs> so the little boy in me wanted to be Maverick and uh, just something about flying in the sky. I mean, just always intrigued me, going places. Um, so yeah, I just kind of chased that dream for a while. Um, a lot of times when I tell people about my job, I say it's, it's, it's very rare that um, you get two hours of quiet time alone looking out the window from 35,000 feet, thinking about all these things and, and just taking them into consideration. It, it's, an interesting, it's an interesting job place to work because of the relationships you build. You fly with the same crew for almost a whole month at a time. So for three days, the three of you spend all of your time together. Um, so relationally wise, you get to know them pretty well. Um, what's going on at home, um, what, what troubles are going on, what things they're enjoying. And so you come back after a week of being away and say, hey, you know, how was, how was that? Or, you know, how are things going with your daughter or whatever? So you really get to engage each other after, after spending some time together like that. I have been watching the Numas at home and with the teenagers at church, with the youth group and in small groups. And um, when the format came that I could put it, I could put this on this Numa iPod and watch it there. Immediately, my thought was, this is something I can take on the road with me. Um, this is a tool that I can use in the conversations that go on in the cockpit, um, or in the conversations that go on between flights, or at the hotels on the overnights. In that downtime between the busyness of work, um, it just seemed like a great tool to use in that. And, and so often, it's it's hard to engage the workplace with your faith in appropriate ways, it just seemed like a, a great fit for that. If you and I were just sitting here talking, I mean, we wouldn't, we wouldn't get into the, the depths of the, the Numas would take us into. So, um, there have definitely been several times where um, we'll go places and I'm, I am kind of surprised and be like, well, I didn't know you, you thought that deeply, you know, here we are sitting right next to each other day in and day out and you're thinking about things that I'm thinking about. Why are we not talking about these? And so yeah, it's nice that it, it brings that out. Like many people will say, here, here, I have a Christian film to show you. And people think, well, I won't say, but you know, they think cheesy film or something. And, and I, I kind of want them to be caught off guard by the quality of it, um, by how hard it's probably gonna hit them a lot of the time. Um, and so, you know, I, I guess what I'll say is like, you know, I have something that might be relevant to, to, to what we just talked about. And I'll be like, check this out. Um, and they'll, they'll well, what, what is this? You know, what are you showing me here? And I'd be like, just check it out. This is, uh, this is relevant to life. It gets into discussion. It'll ask you some questions. It'll make you think. Just look at it, watch it, and tell me what you think. And, and most people are just really, to, really willing to watch it. And um, you know, they kind of give me that look like, what is, you know, what is, what is this associated with? You know, is this a Christian thing or something? I'd be like, well, let's just talk about it. You know, I mean, does it matter? Um, and the answer is yes, but it doesn't matter if it gets us to talk and engage. So, Being able to put NUMAs on my iPod and take them with me was just such a valuable tool. 